Welcome to this video where I will show you how to do column chromatography. We have our retort stand and our column. At the bottom, at the moment this is still open and we have to plug that with a little bit of cotton wool. The easiest way to do that is to put it into the column at the top and use a little bit of copper wire that has a cork at the top and use that to force the cotton plug onto the exit of the column. Once we have done that, we put the column into the retort stand. And we will align it such that the beaker at the bottom just fits into the column. Then we add the pre-weight amount of alumina into the column. Take care to do that slowly because the dust that might come out at the top of the column is a little bit irritant. We might tap a little bit at the column to get an equal distribution of the alumina in the column. And then we add our solvent in order to wet the column material. In order to speed that up, we will use bellows and pressurize the column. Before we do that, we have to clip the bellows to the column and then, just by squeezing the lower bulb, pressurize the upper one. And you can see it's the level of the liquid that it runs out much faster of the column. Here you can see a close-up of how it runs down and actually wets all the alumina. Finally, take care that the solvent level stops before it runs into the color material so that the color material doesn't run dry. Remove the bellows, be careful it's under pressure still. Take care the solvent doesn't run into the column. And now I'll show you how to hold the pipette properly. Don't hold it at the teeth like is shown here because you cannot control if there are any solvents dripping out or not. A better way to hold a pipette in a way to control the liquids is to use your little and your ring finger in the way depicted here. You can easily use the teeth to suck up the liquids and control it. Nothing will drip out. And in this way we can carefully fill the column at the top as shown here. Run the liquids carefully down the sides of the column so nothing drips on the top of the column. In this way the column doesn't get disturbed. Do that slowly and once everything is in, open the tap at the bottom of the column so that the liquid slowly runs into the column. Take care that it doesn't run dry. And now you repeat the same process using your element mixture. This is to make sure that all the material runs into the column. Here you could see how important it is to run down the liquid slowly so the top of the column doesn't get disturbed. Once you have done that, you will fill your column again with a little bit of solvent, up to two centimeters carefully with your pastel pipettes, and then you can use a funnel and carefully add more solvents until the column is full. And now it's shown how to collect your fractions after you pressurized your column with bellows. Open the tap once you have a test tube there and while the column is running quickly exchange your test tubes and in this way collect different fractions. Once all your fractions have come through you have finished with the column chromatography and all that remains is to place a big beaker at the bottom of the column and run out all residual solvent.